here eking past six o'clock. Um, I am Julie Harris, your host for the evening, right? Your school principal, in case you didn't know. Um, you might have heard my voice. It sounds a lot higher on the robocalls. Probably I sound like I'm about 13. Not the case, um, but I'm delighted actually truly honored to be here with you tonight, to stand here um, with you as the leader of this amazing school and this incredible staff that is truly magnificent. I'm actually going to pass the microphone around and let them introduce themselves to you. They love doing that. <laughs> and we're beginning with our newest teacher, Tina Larson. I say you're great and you're great. Okay, Tina Larson, kindergarten. <laughs> Jenny Weller, kindergarten. Not yet, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly Dupree, K1. Ruth Flynn, K1. Marion Carter, first grade. Lori Martinez, first grade. Amy Disser, first grade. Mary Alice Arnold, second grade. Karen Lloyd, second grade. Julie Harrison, uh, second grade. <laughs> Susan Renati, second grade. Maggie Stevens, intervention teacher and SEAL coordinator. Amina Winton, third grade, and here's my other half. Uh, Michelle Gerard, third grade. Cindy LaRue, third grade. Carolyn Rebello, third grade. Linda Pantoski, third grade. Paula DeBlau, fourth grade. Alyssa Green, fourth grade. Tree McIntyre Vader, fourth grade. <laughs> Ashley Davis, fifth grade. Eric North, fifth grade. Casey Hodell, fifth grade. Francis Dahlstrom, resource teacher. Michelle Woodbury, school counselor. Okay, now you can. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let them go. They love standing in front of you, and they'll get to do it more a little bit later. Thank you so much, incredible Sun Valley staff. First of all, I want to congratulate you all for being here tonight um, on time. I know we had a change in the schedule. For the first time, we kind of split things up a little bit. We had kindergarten go first, and then we're having our general meeting, and then first through fifth grade, we're trying out some new things so that parents that have siblings can attend both meetings. So hopefully you like it. We know the time works for some, not for others. If you miss anything, or if you feel like you're missing anything, you're always welcome to check in with your teacher, to email Gail or I, and we can catch you up on anything you think you might have missed, but you probably haven't. Um, so, we'd like to start tonight with um, this fancy equipment working. <laughs> That'd be good. It'll come. But basically, what we're gonna do is um, start with our district a little bit about the district and what where we're at. I think um, many of you, thank you, participated last year in helping us um, in the LCAP meetings, which was, it's basically the funding source. Oh good, that's good. No, it'll come. It'll come, right? Everyone crush me. Because <laughs> tonight was gonna be the night without any technological glitches, as opposed to last year. There we go, see? Perfect. Um, so basically, the district was um, gathered parents and staff members and um, people in the community all together to talk about our funding and how we're going to be funding in the district and actually in the state of California. And it's called the LCAP, which is the new funding process that we go through. And basically, what the LCAP is saying is like, hey, your goals need to be aligned around some really key areas. And the state outlined those areas. They were the eight state priorities. And um, so this, these are all of the goals in one fancy slide. <laughs> and this sums up the LCAP, can you believe it? I'm gonna read it to you really quickly. Our number one goal, powerful learning and academic success for all students. Yes, for all students. But there's no way we could achieve this if it weren't for our amazing staff. So our number two goal has to be invest in differentiated staff learning, high, differentiated high quality staff learning. Um, and now it gets really tiny print. Because of our staff are highly qualified, so their PD should be too. They're also different types of learners, just like our students. 
we think that what makes our that makes our schools pretty cool. And if you are lost where I'm at, I'm right over here. <laughs> of course, we need resources for all this. Resources, what do you mean? Money. Yes, that's it, and time. And those high quality people we talked about. So that brings us to goal number three, aligned resources for all success for all students. There we go again with the all students thing. We're not going to apologize for our, rep our repetition, and we're not gonna throw it into a cliche like it takes a village. Okay, we kind of apologize for that one. Which brings us to goal number four, communicate with and engage the greater community. Communicating is important, and so is culture and climate, i.e. how our students feel. Goal number five might seem soft and fuzzy, but it's tough and critical work so that all students succeed. We had to get that in one more time. To round us out, here's goal number five. Create school environments where staff, students, and families feel welcomed and valued. And basically, that's the LCAP in a nutshell. And if you'd like more information about each of the components of the goals, I'm gonna quickly go through them at student learning, staff professional development, finance and resources, basically aligning the finance and resources with our goals, um, community engagement, culture and climate. And if you want to really get in depth and read the LCAP, because it's really fun night reading, you can go to the website right there, www.srcs.org, and dig in and chunk and chew and see what you feel about the LCAP. But basically what it's saying in a nutshell is that all of our funding and all of our goals are aligned with these state priorities and aligned with these five goals. So it just makes sense to everything. And if you can't remember anything from what I just said, just remember we're focused on student learning, okay? Because that's really what's most important. Um, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you our board member here from San Rafael City Schools, Micah Gulati. Give her a big round of applause. Okay, Micah, we're gonna find you. You wanna start? Okay, there we go. And then you wanna tell them your other role? Sure. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm here tonight. My name is Micah Jerens Gulati, and I wear a few hats. The first one, and most important, I'm actually a parent, a former parent of San Valley, and I have an eighth grader at Davidson and a freshman at San Rafael High School, so it is happened. I mean, it happens uh, very fast. <laughs> So uh, the second one again, um, I'm the, one of the Board of Trustees uh, member, uh, but uh, here tonight I'm uh, representing Heads Up, which is San Rafael Public Education Foundation. And uh, the reason I'm here is because if your kids are in kindergarten right now, it's going to be a class of 2028. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. Your kids um, are actually going to grow up, they're going to go to middle school and high school. So um, I forgot the clicker. <laughs> So um, Heads Up is the district for every single child in every single school uh, here in San Rafael. So currently we have 12 schools, 7,211 students as of today. So uh, it keeps growing. That's actually a picture of our amazing uh, board for the foundation, very talented uh, people, and many of them are actually coming from the um, San Valley PTO. So. There's, uh, I'm looking at all of you. <laughs> so, uh, Head Up started in 1982. I'm going to go very fast because uh, there is a lot to cover tonight. Um, you can read all information about Head Up and all the programs actually on our website. Our goal this year is $350,000. Um, this is uh, what we are funding. Um, again, like uh, in middle school, uh, high school, it seems that it's, it's really far away, but it's not uh, that far. And we want to make sure that all the kids have what they need uh, to succeed. So I'm going to talk a little bit about San Valley, what we found in here, uh, which is uh, music in third, fourth, and fifth grade, uh, Kathy Lenz. Uh, you're very lucky that uh, your PTO can actually fund uh, other enrichment programs and K through second music. Um, our goal is actually to fund K through fifth in all the schools because I don't know if you know, but uh, some of our schools in San Rafael still don't have music uh, K through second. So Heads Up brings that piece of equity to the district, not just because it's the right thing to do, but also because when your kids to go to middle school, we want to make sure that they all have the same level so they can actually advance together. So all the things, uh, Consistent Achievers Awards and Luncheon is a great event, teacher mini grants, so the teachers that they want to have like something special and they don't have enough funding, they can apply 
and have that. And this year is new, the Green Team Grants, so uh, your Green Team can actually apply for some funding uh, to continue the great work that um, I know you're doing here. And uh, this is how we get the funding. Um, we get some of the, of the funding from the business partnerships and grants. Uh, some of it is from a school's role. School's role is a coalition of 20 foundations here in Marin County to support every single uh, student. So that's almost 20%, which is great for us. Um, we have our events, about 50% of our funding, and then uh, the community apparent solicitation um, is uh, basically where we send our uh, flyer in the back to school package to all the parents and we ask you to participate uh, with your PTO, we ask you to participate with the district because we fund different things and um, the, unfortunately the state of California still don't think that education is that important as we are the number 49 in the country. So uh, we have a great community that really supports uh, the, the community so all together we can actually give our all our children uh, the enrichment that they actually deserve so if you can be generous give whatever you can everybody has different economic um, levels but we ask you maybe to do like a hundred percent participation for the district foundation and again for your PTO so um, moving very quickly our summer fest carnival is a great event that unless you are in kindergarten you, ha you have probably experienced before it's on September 26 at San Rafael High School. Uh, this is uh, the main event that we have to fundraise for the music program, so, uh, and it cannot happen without the support from everybody. So we are going to be uh, looking for volunteers. Um, Rebecca Thompson right here, she's our Summer Fest rep. So please sign up with her, it's a really fun event. Uh, all the kids are performing there. Uh, you can bake cakes, and then um, your kids will go home with some raffle tickets. We do have a raffle that generates about 50% of the funding for Summer Fest. So if you can help your kids get excited and you know help them sell those tickets, they are not allowed then, you know. And again, this is a great, not only is it a big fundraiser for the district, but it's also a great community event. All the schools, all the 12 schools are there volunteering. All the kids are performing uh, great food. So it's a great way to celebrate our community. So um, individually, we are one drop, together we are an ocean. We can really do this all together, so be a fish and come swim with us. And, um, so just to end, we have a social media, uh, we, have, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, and I know your PTO is as well, and the, the district uh, has also social media. So have an amazing year, and thank you very much.